out here to build with our people. We ain't out here to argue with nobody. We out here to build and talk the truth of God. You understand? Yes. Yes. A Jehovah Witness? He a liar. And the Christian's supposed to be a follower of Christ. But you don't want to know who the real Christians are? Give me that. Give me that of Acts. We're going to see who the real Christians are. Because all this man-made religion. God didn't give us a religion. God gave us a law to live by. Right. So we are the Israelites. Right. We are the people that have been lost and destroyed. Jeez. You understand? We are the people that Christ was talking about he came for in Matthew 15 and 24. Bring it out. He said, my lost sheep. He said he come from the house of Israel. Right. He come from the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Bring it out. This man-made religions, we don't deal with religion. We supposed to deal with the laws of God. Like today. Uh, I don't know. Your daughter might be Reverend Jews today as Father Day, right? Yeah. But what scripture say it today as Father Day? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't celebrate how all right, all right, all praise. That's a good thing. That's what we say. All praise. We just bringing out that a lot of people celebrate today and they're reverencing themselves, making themselves an idol today. You understand? As Father Day, they make themselves an idol on that day because nowhere in the Bible God said Father Day is June uh, 19th. Right. Nowhere in the Bible you can find is the second or third Sunday in the month. You can't find that in the Bible. That's right. why we out here teaching our people how to come back to the uh, Heavenly Father, hmm. the true and living God. We read that. Uh, Acts chapter 11. Verse 26. Bring it up. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. Uh -huh. And it came to pass uh -huh. that a whole year they assembled themselves. This Paul and Barnabas, they assembled themselves. With the church. With the, with the church. And taught much people. Uh -huh. And the disciples. Who? The disciples. Who? The disciples. Who are the disciples? The disciples are Israelites that walk with Christ. They right. were Jews. They were the Jews that walk with Christ. Jews are black. I'm going to show you that to you too, God. And the disciples were called Christians first. Who? The disciples. The disciples. Were called Christians first. The real Christians are the Israelites. You, you, you. You black and Latinos. We are the Israelites. One thing, one thing I do know is when Moses left people out. Yes. And they were searching for the years and years. The Bible, like the lost book, which I studied. It yes. said they went to Israel, which was desolate. Yeah. And they made Israel as Israel. No, Israel was a person. Give me that in Genesis 32, 27. Bring it out. Israel is a person before it's a place. Right. Yeah. Um, Jacob's name was turned to Israel. The angel, he wrestled with the angel, and the angel popped his star. He said, your name is no more Jacob. Your name is now Israel. Israel means a prince that has power with God. So for you, exactly. Exactly. In Israel, for the women, is a princess that has power with God. And for the men, is a prince that has power with God. We're going to read it. Genesis chapter 32 and verse 27. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Uh -huh. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Say, your name ain't gonna be called no more Jacob. But Israel. But what? But uh, Israel. Go ahead. For as a prince. He explaining what Israel means. What the uh, angel said? For as a prince uh, yeah. uh -huh. hast thou power with God and with okay. men. And has prevailed. Okay, so yeah. Israel is a people just, before it's a place. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. So I'm going to show you in the Bible that the Jews are black. The Jews is not the people with the curls in the head. We are the Jews. Christ was a Jew. You know that? Christ was a Jew. And we're going to see, according to the Bible, Christ was a black man. With white willy hair. You understand? Christ was a Jew. He's a black man. Read. Jeremiah chapter 14. And I, I got to say that because a lot of people say it don't matter what color Christ is. Everything matter. matter. Uh, thank you. Matter. Everything matter. That's right. right. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. <laughs> Judah morning. You said Judah is in mourning. That's us. We in mourning. Look at our community. We in mourning. Good. And the gates thereof language. The gates he talking about that language is our leaders. They language it. They not look at our community. Nobody helping us build in our community. You understand? They building as a person, but not as a nation. Read. They are black. They are what? They are black. He said, Judah, Judah, put the sign up on me. He said, Judah, Judah is so-called American blacks today. He said, they are what? They are black. And when they was living in the land, it was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi living together. They was all called Judah. He said, they are what? They are black unto the ground. What color is the dirt on the ground? Brown. And the deeper you go, the darker it get. The brown is different shades. Like, you, you lighter than me. You lighter, he lighter. He darker, he darker. You understand? What book, what book is it? Jeremiah chapter 14. Jeremiah 14 and 2. He said, Judah is black into the ground. Give me that in Genesis 2 and 7. Let's see what color the first man was. What color the first man? What color was Adam? 
Thank you. You see how easy the Bible is to understand? You see how easy the Bible is to understand? Read. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. God formed man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust? Brown. And the deeper you go, the darker it gets. Right. You understand? When, Christ was the black. The Israelites was black. Or when you wet it, it gets dark. Either one. Either one. You're right. Either one. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Nah. Yo, listen. Go back. Go back. Give me... um. No, give me back to Colossians. So we was going over beware, my brother, because people celebrating Father Day. Now, like I said, men making themselves idols today. Right. Nowhere in the Bible he said, God said, June 19th was Father Day. Right. So when they say Happy Father Day, you make yourself an idol. When they say Happy Mother Day, they making themselves an idol. Right. But God ain't give that to us. You understand? Yeah. Man gave that to us. Yeah. Give me that in Mark 7. Mark 7 and 6. I'm going to give you some more understanding, y'all. Take pictures. Go ahead. Mark 7 and 6. Mark 7 and 6. Look what God said. The, look, look what Christ said. Show him spinning around. You see that red? This is Christ talking. Read. The book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 6. He answered and said unto them, uh -huh. Well, have Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites? So God, I mean, Christ said, Well, has Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites? He's talking to certain people. Go ahead. As it is written. Uh -huh. This people honoreth me with their lips. He said, people come in honoring him with their lips. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. They say he honored him with their lips. With their lips. Go ahead. But their heart is far from me. What's the heart? 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 You know what the heart is according to the Bible? You know what the heart is? No. Give me that in Mark 7, 21. I'm going to show you what the heart is. Anytime you read heart... This is Mark 7, 21. Anytime you read heart in the Bible, we're going to see what God's talking about. Mark chapter 7 and verse 21. Bring it out. For from within, out of the heart, out of the heart of men, uh -huh. proceed evil thoughts. Out of the heart of men, perceive evil thoughts. What do you think at? What do you think at? What do, you, do you think from him? In your mind, exactly. Right. You see how simple it is? He said... Out of the heart of man perceive evil thoughts. When he talking about the heart in the Bible, he talking about your mind. Right. You understand? And he going to explain. Good. Proceed evil thoughts. Adulteries. He said adultery. Fornication. This was in the mind of our people. This was in the mind of the Israelites. He said what? Adulteries. He said adulteries. Fornication. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they... I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. What the hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. Fornication, so, you can find that in Leviticus 18. Right. That one. Fornication is menage trois. Fornication out. is bestiality. Right. Uh, fornication is me sleeping like you, my father. I'm sleeping with your wife, or you sleeping with my daughter. Homosexuality, all that fall under fornication. You understand? All that fall under that. You understand? Murders. He said murders in our mind. Murders ain't when you just shoot somebody. Murders if I hate my brother, if I hate my sister, that's murder. Right. That's what God look at as murder in First John four and twenty. That's murder. You understand? Read. Thanks. I mean, oh yeah, First John four twenty. Covetousness. He said, "What damn? Covetousness. Covetousness is me desiring what you got. You got a nice car. I like your car. That's being covetous. You understand? Know me desiring what my brother or sister has. Read. Wickedness. Get what? What's in their mind? Wickedness. He said, "Wickedness is on our mind." Deceit. He said, "Deceit." Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness is evil sexual thoughts. That's the lasciviousness. Evil sexual thoughts. An evil eye. Uh, evil eye. That's all in our minds, God said. Go ahead. Blasphemy. Uh, blasphemy is lies against the Bible. When you said the Old Testament done away with, that's a lie. How did, how did, tithes in the Bible is not money. Tithes in the Bible is not 10% of money. It's not. It's crop. It's oil use, corn, and vegetables. It's not money. Man, first fruit, you can only get the harvest. Thank you. That's what it is. You have to cut 10% of your land and give it to the poor. Yeah, that's what it was. It wasn't money. Right. 
But now they say it's money, but they say the Old Testament done away with. This is this is things we've been taught, and that's lies according to the Bible. Bring it out. You can find that in Deuteronomy 14 and 22. Right. Yes. And Malachi, will a man rob God? You know he's talking about putting food in the storehouse. He ain't talking about talking about money. These people, the, the, uh, the, uh, what you call it, uh, deceitfully change the word of God. Blasphemy, pride, foolishness. He said pride, foolishness, this all in our mind. All these evil things. You heard what he said, brother? He said all these evil pride. things. You heard him? All these evil things come from within and defile the man. That's what defile us. That's what they don't, now people say the heart, the heart is nothing but an organ to pump blood. Right. The heart can't think, the heart has no feelings. Bring it out. His job, his job is to pump blood through your body. That's it. Right. An organ that pump blood through your body. So go back up to the 76 wall. Yes, sir. Verse 6. He answered and said unto them, Well, have these Zayas prophesied of you hypocrites? This Mark 76 he talking about. As it is written. Uh, as it, where is written at? Everything he say? Come from the Old Testament. Right. What he's talking about is Isaiah 29 and 13. That's what he's talking about. Read. As it is written. And this is Christ talking. This people honoreth me. And every time you read the Bible, if you say that's uh, where it was written at, he's talking about the Old Testament. He got certain words he's using to go back you know, a four time. All that's talking about in the Old Testament. Because it wasn't in the New Testament when Christ walked the earth. Everything he preaches out the Old Testament. That's simple. Read. As it is written, uh -huh. this people honoreth me with their lips. Uh -huh. They honor with, he said, Lord, God, oh, Jesus, praise the Lord, hallelujah. He said they honor him with their lips. But their heart. What's the heart? Mind. The mind. He said, but their heart is far from me. He said their heart is far from him. Their minds are far, even though they honor him with their lips, their mind is far from him. Let me give you an example. I seen a man come out to church. You know what the first thing he did when he got outside that gate? Light up a cigarette. Right. Bring it out. Yeah, take that. yeah right now. They, cigarettes, you're not supposed to be destroying your temple. Right. Your soul, your spirit dwelling there. You ain't supposed to be destroying your temple. So that's what we missing God laws. We missing God laws to get our community back in order. Right. Read. But their heart is far from me. Uh-huh. How be it? In vain do they worship me. You know what in vain mean? Vain mean worthless. It's not nothing. He said, in vain do they worship me. Teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. So they teaching the commandments of men. What commandment? Christmas. Having a Christmas tree. Having an Easter egg thing in the, in, uh, in the church. <laughs> having uh, uh, the Father's Day, Mother's Day. That's the commandments of men. God never gave that to us. Man gave that to us. Right. And that's what go back to religion. Religion is man-made. <laughs> yeah, that's man-made. For laying aside the commandment of God. What they did? For laying aside. You heard what he said they did? He said laying aside. That means they ain't teaching you what God said. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.